everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing fine so like you know from the title i am going to be reviewing good vibes face moisturizers or face creams i'm super excited to be doing this review i've been using them for like 15 20 days and i have thoughts about them so if you want to know what are my thoughts and if you want to watch the review then please hit like and also do not forget to subscribe to see more such videos so hit that red subscribe button it's for free also hit that bell icon so that you know whenever i upload a video before moving forward just want to quickly tell you that i have two creams one is the coconut brightening cream and other one is the vanilla deep moisturizing face cream both of them are from good vibes obviously they both have very similar texture very similar consistency very similar feel application post application and i have mostly similar things to say about these creams and you can actually choose any cream from the range and i am sure that you will feel this similar thing so if you want to buy any good vibes cream then you should watch this review okay so firstly quickly talking about the packaging so these are what the creams look like they are very basic a plastic tub comes on with a lid which you can obviously take it off if you want to so much better than those cheap aluminium covers that you know other creams have so not much to say about the packaging here although you know plastic is not something that is really great okay not at this point where brands are moving towards more eco-friendly packaging and everything so moving on to the pricing so both of these creams actually all of the creams from good vibes cost 225 rupees for 50 gram of product which is like a decent pricing like really good pricing for the things that it has to offer it's not one of those commercial brands that advertise on tv and then cost you so much and also doesn't really have so much to offer like these brands so just want to tell you that it is um, paraben free sulfate free cruelty free and mineral oil free now one of these is not mineral oil free actually the vanilla one has mineral oil obviously it doesn't really mention but the coconut one is mineral oil free so 225 is a great great price for 50 gram of product and this lasts longer because these are like really really thick you don't really need a lot of it especially if you have combination skin even dry skin don't need a lot also you will always get this on discount okay so even after having 225 as an mrp if you buy it from purple.com you will always get a discount so i got both of these from 180 rupees each which is like a great deal honestly so now moving on to the cream so you can see how it looks like i've used this much and it looks super thick doesn't really fall off when i take it on my fingers doesn't drip super creamy and super soft in texture Texture. now when i'm taking some on the back of my palm and rubbing it you can see that it easily rubs off i mean it easily rubs onto my face but it doesn't really get absorbed so you know you have to take time rubbing it also i'm going to show you the application on my face so you can clearly see that i've started rubbing on my face very very gently not going harsh you cannot pat the cream because it takes time to absorb and you need a little bit of massaging with the cream so I'm just nicely massaging it all over my face. There's of course a little bit of glow post application which is great if you are an oily, uh, sorry, if you are a dry skin person because you will love it. Why I would not really uh, suggest it for oily skin people is because firstly it's super thick. You will feel a separate layer on your skin when you apply it. Even when you've done applying it post application, you will feel that there's something on your face till about one hour. And also because I'm in Mumbai, it's a little humid here so post application after 10-15 minutes I tend to feel a little sweaty on my forehead I think it's only because of the weather here and it shouldn't really happen otherwise it stays on your face and doesn't really make your face feel dry so if you're a dry skin or a combination skin you will love it trust me so let's move on to the ingredients which is what i want to really talk about so now just to tell you when you read these ingredients these ingredients are in decreasing order of their concentration present in the product so when i say first five ingredients these first five ingredients are present in the utmost amount of the concentration in the product and then the concentration decreases so giving you an example when it says vanilla deep moisturizing cream the first five ingredients should definitely have vanilla because this is the main ingredient of the cream but it doesn't really happen like that okay so i cannot see vanilla up until the third row of the ingredient list which is upsetting so just to tell you the top five ingredients they are purified water caprylic glycerin cetyl alcohol c1422 alcohol c1220 alkyl glucoside okay i read about these five ingredients and what i got to know is that 
they are not harmful alcohols now you shouldn't really have alcohol in your uh, products but there are two types of alcohols good alcohols and bad alcohols these are good approved by fda category of alcohol these are also called fatty alcohols which means they are they act as an emulsifier they help your skin feel smooth and they give a very like moisturizing sensation or moisturizing effect on your skin and your skin feels soft so this is what basically the top five ingredients are doing which is all good things i'm not saying it's bad but when it says vanilla you know ideally it should have vanilla in its top five ingredients and similar thing is with the coconut brightening face cream okay now it says that it has coconut extracts or whatever but it isn't present in top five or even top 10 ingredients if I have to tell you, I cannot even see anything of coconut even till the third row of ingredients, which is like, I don't know. Similar top five products are present even in the coconut ones. So same alcohols and purified water, glycerin, which basically gives you a moisturizing effect. It will give you moisture, it will retain the moisture and it will also help you feel super soft on your skin, which is good. These ingredients are not bad. I'm not saying they are bad but they do not have coconut or vanilla in this case. So do not fall for terms like brightening, vanilla, saffron, you know, all of these things because you know, there are like six, seven of these creams, like six, seven variants of these creams and they have like different key term on them like brightening, lightening, don't know what all. Do not fall for that because these creams will work as normal regular creams would not give you that extra something that you want if you want these creams for that. One more thing is that they do not have SPF so you can obviously use them as night cream which is like a great thing. So I am using these creams over vitamin C and vitamin E serum in the night and that's how I've been testing. Nothing special uh, that I've absorbed, all regular things. But still looking at the positive, they are cruelty free guys. Not like those other commercial creams that are usually not cruelty free. One more thing that I want to talk about uh, this product is that it is so tacky, you know, on application that it can be used really beautifully as a primer or a pre-base for your foundation or your BB cream because then those products are gonna sit on your face like something. So you're gonna use these creams for that as well. Now lastly, I wanna talk about the fragrance. The coconut cream doesn't really smell like coconut at all, like everything but coconut. Or I don't know what's happened to my nose, but it's just not smelling like coconut. From the day one, I'm like, where is coconut? It says coconut in big block letters, but no coconut, no smell of coconut. Honestly, it has a very uh, not too strong smell. So the coconut one doesn't bother me, although it's not coconut, but smell is fine. But the vanilla one, oh my God, it smells like something. It is too strong and I just feel like it has a very strong smell of artificial vanilla if you know what I mean so it's not gonna smell like your delicious vanilla ice cream at all if you're buying it for smell do not buy it overall both of these have very similar chemically smell which is fine I mean you can obviously tolerate it but the vanilla one is a little too strong for me and those were all the things that i had to say about this brand and the product if you like the review then do not forget to hit like comment below and subscribe to my channel it is for free please hit that red subscribe button i'm going to see you on sunday bye